Hi, welcome to Tech Guru Technology. Uh, so we are going to demonstrate uh, about VLOOKUP in Excel. So there are different kind of VLOOKUP. However, in this session, we will we'll be taking care of only first one. That means the VLOOKUP, only simple VLOOKUP, right? The type of parameter in the VLOOKUP, how we use VLOOKUP, that's it. In the next session, we'll we'll demonstrate about the different kind of VLOOKUP, right? VLOOKUP with choose function, VLOOKUP with uh, match function, and VLOOKUP with array formula. How can we make our VLOOKUP dynamic? Also, we'll learn in the next session, right? Please uh, keep watching my videos. So let me start. Let me start with the first session. So I have a, a sheet. In the sheet, if you see the first tab, employee details. Here we have real data of an employee. So let me rename it with the relevant name. For example, base salary. And here, PF number because the uh, all field should be uh, relevant so so here we have data like employee id employee name sex and pf number and base salary right pf number is also unique right uh now we we're gonna test the first one we look up so let me delete this already field formula and let me try the first one so type v look up so you'll get uh, in help tab if you if you press tab so you'll get the whole formula here so here you can see the first parameter is look of value the second one is table array the third one is column index and the last one is range lookup so i'll explain one by one the first the first one is look of value the look of value is what that means we need to pass employee ID here. So, so the lookup value is means what kind of value you are looking for. So we are looking for employee name for a particular employee ID, right? So that's why I'm passing the employee ID here. And one more thing, if employee ID is duplicate, right? in the first sheet that means we'll get the result in in, in our result set we'll get only the first one right the value of first very first employee id so so let me try i'll show you that example also so uh, the first one is lookup value go to the employee detail tab and then select Array, whole entire array, right? So this is called what table array. We need to fix that, right? We have to fix that. If you are not fixing that, that means if you are using the same formula, if you drag same formula, uh, no. Let me show you. If I am suppose I am not fixing it, you know, I am not fixing the range so what will happen let me show you uh then the the second one is column index so column index is what so you know go to the test we look up we are searching out employee name and the number of column from the, the particular search column the search column is employee id that means the lookup column and the employee name is the second column from the lookup column. So, so we need to input value like 2 here. The next one is range lookup. What does it mean? This means there are two values you can see, true and false. So either you write true or false or you need to pass value 1 for true and for uh, zero for false 
if you're passing if you're passing two or one that means there is not exact match right if you're passing uh, zero or false that means there there is an exact match let me show, show you both example and I'll, I'll explain so the first one is I'm I am putting up putting zero that means false right and then enter so if I write like this okay so that means it is giving my name the employee name Imran right I'm giving you another example suppose let's suppose there is an employee ID 6 however we don't have such employee ID in our database so what this so then then what we need to do we are copying formula from here and pasting it here so we'll get the val hash any kind of error right then what we need to do if I getting hash any kind of error uh, before no uh, explaining this let me let me show you if uh, if we are not fixing the range what will happen now the range has been changed it's moved from from the node from even e6 to e6 e11 so come come this sheet e6 to e11 is this array right but this array we don't we, we are not referring to this array we are referring to this array right so that means that means while no writing any formula in VLOOKUP we need to fix our range so what we need to do while fixing this range how can we fix this range we either we write this one like this dollar sign the first one means fixing fixing a that means fixing the column the second one means fixing the row the column would be a this is already fixed and the row number one is already fixed so it's up to you in some cases we are fixing only we are fixing only one value either column or row so I'll also explain that those example. So either type it like I'm typing it from my you know keyword keyword or you need to you know press F4. Please note down press F4. Right. So let me finish, then copy this formula, paste it here. So it this time also the value showing has an a because there is no employee is not exist here in in my database in my database we can see the employee id is like one two three four five however we are searching out an employee detail of employee id six so what we need to do in this case so what i told you that in, in the in the range lookup there was an option of one two so if you're writing two let me see what will happen now you're getting some value right so what does it mean this is not exact match right however our we look up will you know, give you some result nearby result because the five is employee id nearby the employee id six however the six is doesn't exist so our we look up is displaying result right so hope you liked my videos in my next video i'll explain different kind of vlookup and i'll also explain okay, when should be you know when should be uh, fix only column and only row when should be fix both column and row and i'll also explain the error formula of vlookup so enjoy my video thank you thank you so much for watching my video